Thanksgiving 2016 family dinner. My cousin pours me a glass of kombucha. And in my head, I'm like, yeah, I tried it once. I don't like it, but all right, I'll try it again. And it was pretty good. And I was like, wow, that's a pretty good concept. And we kind of talked about, well, let's start making kombucha. So I started making it in my kitchen. And at the same time, Ryan was making a lot of cold pressed juices, learning about nutrients and different fruits and veggies to make uh, some good tasting juice. And we see this becoming a new trend in the way people are eating and drinking. And let's try to make it our own. So next thing we know, we start brewing five gallon glass jars in our garage. And then we're like, hey, let's start a little business on this. So we moved into a shared commercial space and got our permits and started brewing it for others to try. We started fermenting in little stainless steel jars at this time. And just to prove the concept, test the market, see if we really wanted to go you know, all in on this. And just quickly, we, we got a really good feedback, really good feedback from people. And we're like, oh wow, we, we want more of this, we want more of this. And we were kegging in little cafes and on tap, and they were calling us pretty quick saying, hey, your keg's empty, we want more. And so then we decided like, hey, how do we get on the retail shelves? Why don't we do that route? So we started canning. And within a few months of that, it really grew out of that space and started looking for our own place and so we could also have a tasting room where we could share it, bring the community in and have a good space to share with other people. So we moved into this new facility here. We got a really cool commercial brewing system where we can do a lot of stuff. We can automate some things that were a little tricky in the past. We can make really consistent flavors, a more consistent kombucha in much larger batches, but still keep it really craft and healthy. Yeah, so this space, we had a vision from the beginning to, to learn a little bit from the craft beer scene here in San Diego and, and bring something that's almost a little more family friendly. And uh, we thought this could be the mecca of kombucha, both non-alcoholic and alcoholic. Having a space where people can bring their family and friends and just a space that everyone can enjoy and there's something for everyone. So hard kombucha has all the same benefits as your traditional kombucha, except that you get a little bit of a buzz and it's fun like craft beer, Lots of fun different twists you can do with it. It's that first alcoholic beverage that is actually good for you. It has some benefits to it and is inherently known for that. And so for us, I think hard kombucha is that next iteration of craft beer, craft brewing, and San Diego is one of the best places in the world to possibly start that. It's a new up and coming segment with a lot of new fun people coming in with really cool ideas, lots of different flavor profiles, lots of different ways to brew and we think it's going to be a really fun addition to the current craft beer segment in San Diego. So the tap space for us is a place that we've had a dream for for a couple of years now and it's all coming to fruition. A space that we can bring in people from the community, share some good food and good drinks. It was more space than we needed but it gave us the opportunity to grow because we started with this vision that we wanted to be leaders in the kombucha industry. We wanted to really help set the path. There's a lot of really good people before us, but we wanted to help contribute to like what an authentic, real kombucha is. Kombucha to us is culture, it's art, it's life, it's nature and fermentation as it's meant to be. And for us, we only use 100% organic cold pressed juices. All of our ingredients have a purpose and add both flavor, but also nutrients. And that's what we believe in in our product. We seek to be as conscious as possible in everything we do, from our, our ingredient selection to be as local as possible to our packaging, which we wanted to be as small of a footprint as possible. Uh, we chose cans not only out of preference, but also to support both the ecological and the economical aspects that come with it. So for us, Local Roots is lowest sugar possible, only organic and cold pressed ingredients. For most approachable flavors you can have, we try to convert those that either haven't tried it before or may have tried kombucha and didn't like it. And ultimately we're family friendly and we're family owned and operated and we're located here in Vista. We want to keep it raw, authentic and local. And that's why we started Local Roots Kombucha.